Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 27 of my Let's Play of Moon Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Now I did some off-screen grinding for medals because, well, you'll see in a minute. So, mysterious metal queen. I offer things for medals. Great, I'm gonna take the royal title because I never got that before. Well, not in this save. And I'm going to entice you to be one of my party members. Hmm, well, if you're offering me medals for it, can't be helped. So if you want to do any more exchanges for medals, be sure to take me out of your party, etc. So gather matter metals up and see me again, she says. Oh. I hadn't used very many metals in this save, I suppose. Now I'll need to remove Al from my party. Pony Ah, here we are. Since the Metal Queen, actually Queen Grandanawa, Joined our party, she has a request for us. She says, literally, I have a little request of you. Could you come and see me? So that's the new thing from her. But she's not the only one we have to see in this castle. Strangely enough, her quest doesn't begin until you read the bulletin and then speak to her. I'm used to having to speak to people, but reading the bulletin and then speaking to her. Why do they need to do that? Anyway, this is Elle's quest we're doing first. So, after all, she's got to do that. If her blood can be medicine, then she disappears off the face of the earth. Yeah, it looks like she was overthinking something again. And just in case we should check up on her. She headed for the top track. Let's go. Notice our huge sea monsters here. Oh yeah, duh, top deck. An Iron Maiden. Well, the one we recruited. I don't know how this goes if you don't recruit an Iron Maiden, but anyway. The blood of mermaids is a medicine that can cure any injury, so I've got to do this. An Iron Maiden. Yeah, she's not talkative. Alright, I'm ready. Here I go! Yeah, what is this? The insides isn't spiky at all. So the tentacles are all slimy and stuff. Stop, stop, no, no. Hey, that was incredible. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed our Monster Girl lesbian sex. In any case, Alice, <clears throat> what the hell are you doing? Well, the people of the Natalia region were hurt by her, wasn't, weren't they? So, she thought she would deliver mermaid's blood as medicine to them. So, he decided to use our Iron Maiden, thinking that the inside was spikes. Yeah, shows what you know. Yeah, somehow she's got to do a lot of bloodletting. I'm the next queen, so, as a representative of the mermaids, she has to make reparations. Well, your method of making reparations here is mistaken, to say it lightly. Even humans would have a hard time, you know, accepting a lot of uh, mermaid blood after all. Gross, right? So, what should I do? Mm, if you were talking about medicine, we can talk to Queen Alderaone. 
So let's go together. Okay, sure. Now she's in my party. Now I can go back to the regular Mal castle. Now when she says Queen Alrani, they don't mean this Queen Alrani. She's kind of useless. Whoops. Out of my way, Gob. We mean this Queen Alrani. So, Queen of Plants. I'm El, the next Queen Mermaid. Well, aren't you a cute mermaid, princess? It must be nice being queen of the mermaids to have such a wonderful air. Oh yeah, the Alarone had a, you know, a whole air problem, didn't they? About uh, four generations of air problems. So anyway, she's got something she'd like to confer with you about. Regarding medicine that can heal a lot of wounded people. So, explanation goes here. Hmm, so. You want to make it up to the humans. In that case, why don't you make a medicinal herb garden near their, near their town? Hmm, that's a good idea. If we're talking about a medicinal herb garden, the people of the town can regularly acquire the medicine they need. Making an herb garden and giving it to the humans. Yeah, that way the humans and mermaids can make up. If we're talking about the Natalia region, then the gold grass would be good. It's strong against those salty winds and its growth is unusually fast. So, gold grass. Well, if you say it's an herb. So, take these seeds and plant it in Natalia Beach. In the, you know, grassy portions. If you do that, then in about a week, the medicinal herb garden will be done. So, thank you very much, Queen of, Queen of Plants. As a representative of the mermaids, you have my deepest gratitudes. Ah, what a qu cute mermaid princess. The future of the mermaid people is well assured. Alright, thanks everybody for helping. Well, we're allies after all. It's only natural. So let's go to Natalia Beach and get this thing started. Except I have other people to talk to. Yeah, King Drown Gold. Um, that's right, this way. All right, thanks for coming. The content of the discussion here is as posted on the bulletin. Since I now have this form, I would <clears throat> excuse me. I wonder if my people will accept me. Haven't you learned how to transform yourself from Mephisto here? Well, it turns out he can't use it. Since he's got a body that's overflowing with so much magical energy, such a uh, Half-assed transformation magics won't be able to hide his what he is now. So that being the case, I cannot falsify my form. So with this body as it is, I need to stand in front of my people someday. Yeah, it's true. If that form were all of a sudden publicized there'd be some unrest maybe so why don't you go try talking to a few people to see what their reactions would be well if you were wandering around in the capital like that 
it it cause a ruckus. So why don't you choose some backwater town? Hmm. In that case, how about Goda? There the people are. You can speak to the people you find there and see what their reactions are. So, a visit to Goldal. Alright, let's do it. So then, let's take King Gold with us to Goldal. Remember to put him in our party in order to do this. Yeah, no kidding? Another request. Queen Grand Gold. Grand Noah. So, thanks for coming. In truth, I'm looking for somebody. Looking for someone? You are the queen of a country. You could have your underlings do it. Well, this is a request as the queen of metals. Furthermore, it will probably be helpful on our journey. Okay, then. So, who are we searching for? Whom are we searching for? This is someone who disappeared about 200 years ago. The first metal king. In other words, my ancestor. Hmm. So if she's your ancestor, does that mean he's one of the Grand Noah royal family as well? Why would somebody like that disappear? Well, he was, as well as being the king of Grand Noah, a wise man who overcame a terrible time of war and when he got old he gave the throne to his son and retired. After that he started collecting medals as a hobby and really got into it. And eventually he headed out on his own to go collect them. And, just like that, the people of the time lost contact with him. So, up until now, his whereabouts were unknown. Huh, what a troublesome guy. Of course, you started your investigation in Grand Noah, right? Well, the investigation as we've gotten, as far as we've gotten at least, indicates that he got to Iliasville. So we should start tracking him down from there. That being the case, can I request that you help in tracking down the first Metal King? Of course, he's not still alive, but if we recover his corpse and goods, that would be helpful. And this being what it is, it's more of an individual request than anything else, so... I'm afraid I don't have any rewards for you. However, whatever goods we can get from him will probably be pretty valuable treasures. I see. And amongst these treasures is something useful in our journey. Alright. Th there's value in searching for this first Metal King. So, the contact was cut in Eliasville, huh? Alright, let's go investigate Eliasville. Reminds me of something. Hmm. Well, if it's somebody 200 years ago, it'll be kind of hard, though. How about we search around the village and see what kind of hints we can find? Alright then, I'm leaving everything to you. I'll be waiting with all my heart for a good report. You know, this is just normal conversation. No longer part of the quest. Sonia talking to Queen Grand Noah. Asking if it's alright that she's going on an adventure like that. Well, she's interested in scouring the world for metal <clears throat> in order to restore world peace. 
And for that purpose, Journey will do good. She was just about to say medals. Yep. She really is obsessed about that, isn't she? Alright. Alistromeria, you're out for the moment. Oh crap. Where's Queen Gr King Grangold? I need a ground goal. And I also need Gigi. Now, she's not really big in terms of importance, but she is a side quest, so if you like her, I'll show you how to complete it. Next up, Sabasa. This is in connection with the quest Promacine gave us. Recall she wanted to know more about vampirization or something. So Lucas here to ask if we can get some vampire blood from these guys. It's for the research of one of our allies, so it's going to be necessary. Hmm, well, you helped us in opening the shop, so... Alright, we'll cooperate. Alright, resource gathering time. So everybody open up your arms, etc. Ooh, we've gotten a lot. So, mix, 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 mix. And then mix in that that we got from there and did that too. Mm-hmm, <laughs> looks good. Hey, what are you making? This time, it's not neat. It's not Carrot X, is it? Oh, what do you think it is? Hmm, if it's vampires, then... I know! It's Garlic X! Absolutely correct, it's Garlic X. It absolutely isn't! Sonia. Hmm, well, anyway. Here, the Garlic X is complete. Luca, would you lend me your arm? Eh, what are you doing? Ah! So, Promising suddenly injects Luca with... Garlic X. How is it? Do you feel any changes? Uh, I somehow feel like I want to drink blood. All right, major success here. In Luca's in Luca's body, the vampire DNA has taken hold. Luca became a vampire. I don't think I like this. Uh, blood. I need blood. So, garlic eggs can turn humans into vampires. But if you're not a pretty sturdy human, you'll probably die. So if you've mastered the arts of being a human, you should be alright. I'll be in the lobby of the Pocket Mao Castle, so anytime you want, I can administer X for you. <laughs> I'd like to make more and more X's. Human flesh, I mean, uh, garlic is going to be very necessary. It just so happens that in Japanese, garlic, nin niku, can also be pronounced like this, nin niku, human flesh. Well, normally those kanji would be pronounced jin niku, but... Blood! Ugh. Look at that! Hmm. So, if you get an allied human to rank 10, you can turn them into vampires. Just talk to Promistine in the Pocket Hall Castle. I'm against this particular development. Oops. Because. Vanilla is our party vampire. Vanilla is. Having other people being vampires cheapens the value of vanilla. Therefore, I'm opposed. In any case. Next up, Natalia. This will be... Ellis Quest. Oops. 
Okay, pro tip. When Luca is forcibly turned into a vampire, it unequips all of his equipment for whatever reason. Alright, this is Natalia Beach. So, let's find a spot to plant the gull grass. Well, if it's grassy regions, how about right there? Yeah, that looks good. So, let's go there. Let's make a great herb garden. Mm-hmm. The earth has a good feel to it. Yeah, it seems like our herb garden will go well here. Alright, let's sow these seeds. Yeah, yeah. So we get started with the sowing. Next, we give them water and take care of them. Alright, that's enough for today. So then, let's stay at a nearby inn. If we take care of this properly, it should be done growing in a week. So we return to the town. Look at that! The flower garden's already starting to go. Hmm, as expected of the seeds given us by the Queen Araraune. They really do grow fast. Okay, then let's go take care of them. Alright, we're helping too. Alright, until we can pick these as medicine, it'll not be long. So, let's pull the weeds and give them more water. So, Elle, putting her spirit into it, takes care of the medicinal guard. Alright, we're done for today. Alright, let's come again tomorrow. Well, it's not bad to do this kind of thing once in a while. The weariness from all of our battles gets healed by these kind of little things. So, back to the inn. So, from then on every day, Elle was taking care of the herb garden. And like that, several days passed. Hey, look! At the herb garden, there's a crab. Oh, look at all these medicinal herbs growing here. I think I'm going to help myself. Oh, what's she doing? Stop it! This isn't going to be long. Hey, are you here to pick medicinal herbs too? Don't touch these medicinal herbs we... That we grew. That was short. Wah! You're mean. The mean one here is you. We tried really hard to raise these herbs. Well then, say so. If I'd known it was your precious medicinal herb garden, I wouldn't have taken any. Hello. Do you realize... If the mistake you've made here. Mm-hmm. I did something mean. The crab didn't actually know that it was our herb garden. So, without explaining ourselves or listening to her story, you just got angry and tried to eliminate her. Well, we also kind of did that. I'm sorry. I just got so angry. Wah. Oh, that's a sob, not a wah. So here, use this medicine. If you do, the wound will be healed. Oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. Well, these things are easy to fix, aren't they? But, I failed again. I'm sorry. It's alright. I was kind of the bad guy here, too. I didn't see that there was a rope stretched across there, and I should have. Should have noticed that, you know? Okay, thanks for forgiving me. So then, 
We've got to take care of this garden. I'm going to help too. Okay, great. So, Ella and the Mini Connie also tended to it. So, she can... She has awareness of her own mistakes and can pull through peacefully. This is the first thing you really got to learn about. Even while she was immature, she was always talking about being the next queen and being a leader of troops. But before initializing the well, before starting your king trainings, or queen trainings in this case, first you've got to learn how to deal with other people. Hmm, but that was going to be a great queen. She's so serious and thinks highly of people. Thinks courteously of people. So, grow up big. And grow up plump. You know, in a world like this, I think talking to the plants might actually work. So after several days, the garden was complete. Elle contacted the hospital corps, the medical corps of San Elia, and had them come inspect it. Oh, the inspection group is already here. All right, let's go. So the crab is now uh, the guardian of the herb garden. And she lets people that need the herbs go come through. Alright, thanks. So let's play again sometime. Well, this is amazing. If there's this much, we don't have to worry about our insufficiency of medicine. So, we'd like to give this medicinal herb garden to you, San Elia. As a representative of the mermaid people, it's a token of our repentance. And of course, we'd be delighted to accept. And since it's a gift from you mermaids, everybody's going to be happy. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Next Queen? Uh, no. Just L, the mermaid. Well, thank you very much, L. The bonds between humans and mermaids should be restored like this. At the very least, I'm praying for it. So, that went well. The herbs that L grew got distributed to all the hospitals in the Charlie region. So, isn't that nice, Hale? Yep. So, you finally done something that's actually appropriate for the next queen. Rather more than commanding troops and attacking a town, this is a more splendid thing to do. Yep, so I'm thinking I kind of understand here. Just a little. So L got a little bit bigger. Hmm. So then you don't need to worry about talking about this reparations and nonsense. But anyway, how about we go visit the Queen Mermaid and see how she's doing? Yay, I get to go visit Mom. Alright then. Queen Mermaid. Okay, in turn, in compliance with our alliance, I'll cooperate with everyone. If you have any needs, speak. 
Obviously, we need to ask her to be our ally again. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. As I am now, I'm too worried about L to concentrate on battles. She... I enticed her onto the mistaken path that I had taken. And my regrets, my grudge, my grudges, I forced upon her. I'm alright, Mom. So, Elle explains the whole medicinal herb garden thing to her. Hmm. Well, you've done a lot. Ah, Elle, you really are a good girl. And I, too, can't sit around showing a pathetic demeanor such as this now. I understand. I will accompany you on your journey. In order to guide this world on a path of peace and coexistence, please use the power of the Queen of Mermaids well. Hey, her name's Laura. Hmm. Oh. So your name is Laura. It seems like I've heard an old story about a mermaid named Laura. Well, the Laura of the old stories is already dead. Along with her hatred and grudge towards the humans. I am Laura. Who doesn't look at the dreams of an old age. So, in hand with the future, I've decided to walk forward. Yay! It's an adventure with my mother. And also in hand with my daughter here. Isn't that sweet? Hmm. I think I'm about halfway done with these side quests. So, I'm going to call it a day for now. After this... Oh yes, the Metal Queen asked us to track down her predecessor. And King Grand Noah, Grand Gold, needs to figure out how his people are going to accept him now. And then there's the Gigi thing. Oh, I forgot about this, but it's in my notes. The Glory of Pirates. In any case, we've got a lot to do next time, so thanks for watching. We'll see how that goes.